Fire Guy Scott here from the Mental Metal Channel and MentalMetalDetecting.com. And today, I am going to tell you about a problem I have with the Manticore that I resolved, by the way. Didn't have to send it back. Didn't have to worry. It's all back operating normally now. But I want to give a couple of you know, shout outs to a few people out there who gave me the advice. I posted this video, and I'm going to show you the video here in a minute, out on the official, the official MindLab users group. My lab Manticore users group because I had a problem with my uh, speaker wasn't working anymore. It just quit. It, I was using it one day making a video and it just quit. So I had to use headphones and um, headphones worked fine. I just up in the upper right hand corner I had the head headphone icon show up even though I didn't have any headphones attached or plugged in. They were still it was on. And so it was, it was taking away my speaker because it thought it had a pair of headphones in the jack. Uh, at first I thought it was the wired headphones, or wireless headphones. So I was pairing, unpairing. I reset the machine. Um, you know, a couple people were telling me to, you know, <laughs> check my sensitivity. I had nothing to do with that situation, but whatever. I mean, when you put, your, put yourself out there on Facebook and you, you make yourself vulnerable to those kind of people, um, you get some really wacky people that come out of the woodwork telling you what you should do. Um, but there were a couple of people that gave me the clues. And I wish I would have wrote down their names and I would have given them credit. But I deleted the post from Facebook because I was just getting too many crazies telling me what to do or what my problem was that wasn't my problem. So Facebook's good for one thing, some things. But man, sometimes you just get a lot of crazy people coming in. But uh, a couple people on there did tell me, hey, you got water in your headphone jack. And I was like, there's no way. I used that over the weekend. It should have been dry. Sure enough. I, uh, well, I'll just show you the video and then we'll talk about it afterwards. I'll show you what happened. All right, hey guys, this is a potential bug in the Manticore. I'm not sure if it's a bug or if it's just me and my, my machine is having a problem. Do you see the set of headphones up in the upper right hand corner next to the battery? I cannot get that to go away, to go away, and my speaker does not work. I do not have a pair of wireless headphones paired up right now. Um, they are not turned on, they are in the house, they are nowhere near this machine. Um, there is nothing else that's Bluetooth trying to connect to the machine. I was using yesterday and all of a sudden it just quit couldn't hear anything and I noticed that icon up there the headphones will not go away I've tried everything I've rebooted it started stopped it unplugged the coil uh, factory reset it everything and it will not go away <laughs> so is it just my machine or is it a bug I've been looking around I've not heard about this issue so I'm just wondering if it's just my machine let me know what you think help me out I'm desperate all right, guys. So I want you to show. I want to show you real quickly here that up in the upper right hand corner, if it'll ever focus, I don't know what's going on? Why it's not focusing? Maybe there's not enough light out here. I don't know. There we go. There is no headphones in the upper right hand corner by the battery indicator. It is gone. I have fixed this. So what happened was I had been water detecting with the Manticore. And it did not leak. I just want to want everybody to know that it did not leak. What happened was this screw on the back, if you can see it or not, screw right there on the back that screws into your head, your headphone um, port, got water in there. And when I screwed it back on, I didn't pay attention, and the water went inside the jack itself. And I sealed it up, and that water didn't have anywhere else to go except inside. So it eventually worked its way in. Um, it did not cause the, any problem with the machine itself. It just it just made the machine think that there was a pair of headphones plugged in. That's why I had the headphone icon showing up. Um, when I took that screw, screwed on, unscrewed that cap, I, f I saw the water come out of it. I was like, oh, that was the problem. I was hoping it wasn't going to be permanently damaged. And then I just I put the, uh, the headphone jack in there from my waterproof headphones. And I could tell I released some of the pressure in there because some of the water came out. And so what I did was I held this machine, or I put the machine next to my dehumidifier in my garage and left it run a day, and voila, we're back in the saddle. So no trips to the support center. I don't have to uh, send this in to anybody to get it, get it fixed. 
we avoided the crisis. But I got to give credit to all the people out there in the Facebook page. That, there were a couple of you that actually clued me into this, and I deleted the post because I get a lot of people acting nuts on there. So I, I, did, I got rid of the post, but I wish I would have wrote down your names. And I just want to say thank you to you guys who pointed me out and told me that you thought I had water in my headphone jack. Turns out you were absolutely correct, and um, I was able to resolve it. So thank you. So again, I want to thank all you guys out there on Facebook who helped me figure out the problem of this machine. Uh, well, not really a problem with the machine, just the fact that I had water in the, in the headphone jack. So the machine never had any issues in the water. Uh, I love using the machine in the water. I'm, I'm really excited about it now that they got the new coils coming out for the Manticore. So uh, yeah, I just want to say thanks to all you people out there who gave me the idea about the headphone jack. You guys were on the money. And uh, some of you guys who had some crazy ideas, you were not on the money. But it was entertaining. So uh, thanks again, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya in another Mental Metal video.